Hey guys, this is Budget Tech Dad, and welcome back to another video on Chia. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know the new version 1.1.6 just came out. I really recommend you guys to download that. It actually improved a lot on performance, where it's using less resources when it's open, and also fixed a lot of those syncing issues. So previously, we talked about how to check farming status and make sure you're farming correctly. And now we're going to check our plots and make sure our plots are okay. Farming in Chia is kind of like real farming. If you, let's say, plant a apple tree and you're farming apples, sometimes you might get like a bad apple. And that's the same thing here. Sometimes your plot might be bad. So to check on that, what we need to do is go into PowerShell. So to go into PowerShell, go to your PC, your C drive, users, PC name, app data, local, Chia blockchain, app version, I should probably download the new version, resources, app Azure unpack, daemon, and then you go to the empty space here, hold down shift, right click, and open PowerShell. What I'm going to do is explain how this command works, and then I'll show you how to narrow it down to what plots you want to check. So this command we used previously in one of my other videos is actually dot slash chia plots check okay so what this command does is it simulates proofs for your plots as if it was farming so what it does is sends challenges for each your plots and make sure that it could pass those challenges in a um, effective manner so the default is 30 challenges per plot checked so if you look here it's 30 out of 30 so this is a pretty good plot there's a 26 out of 30, it's all right here, uh, and so on here. But we do have one that says 22 out of 30. So the general rule for this number is, if you look on their website, the general rule here is this shouldn't really concern you unless the ratio is less than 0.7. So this is getting pretty close to that 0.7, but let's say this is less than 0.7, right? So these 30 tests are always going to be the same. So when you run this again, it's going to say 0.73 again. So it just means that um, it doesn't do well with these 30 challenges. So what you could do is you could test more challenges and see if it does better. If it does better, that means it's okay. So what you could do here is you could do um, dot slash chia plots uh, check and then dash G is the flag that you want to use. And then let's say you just want to test this. So you could select from here. And right before the last dash, and hit copy and paste here and hit enter. All right. So now, like I said, it's doing that same 30 test again. It does 7.73 again. So what you could do if you want to test differently, let's say you want to do 50, right? So you could do dash N and then hit type 50 here and hit enter. All right. Now you see that it did a different 50 and it's doing a lot better. So this plot is okay. So for the 100 plus plots that I tested, I only had about six that had below 70%. But if I run through, well, let's say another 50, they did okay. So it's not terrible. So on the website, in theory, if, you if your plot score better than a one, then that plot is more lucky. And if it's less than a one, it's unlucky. But in the end, I don't think it really matters. But what you're really looking for is like an error message. So one did come back to me as an error, and I'll show you that as a screenshot. So what you're looking for is something like this. That says error, and then it's 2 out of 30, and then it's terrible percentage here. And make sure your plots don't have that, and then you're going to have to replot these. So now I'm going to show you how to narrow down your plot check. So what you could do is, let's say you just plotted a bunch on one single drive. So what you could do is you can... Do dot slash chia plot show. And this command is going to show you which directories you have plots in, right? So you ha I have in this one, the D and then the C here. Then what you could do is you could do dot slash chia plots check dash G again here. And let's say you want to check this D drive. So you could just copy here and like that. And it's going to check the ones I have again dot slash chia plus show all right let's say you have like a folder name that has spaces what you could do is 
uh, slash chia plots check as g and you'll put it in quotes and this will help you with the spaces right and there's nothing in there but i'm just showing you this as a demo all right another way to check is obviously you saw how i checked one specific plot and that's to um, do dash g and you copy here to here okay right before the last um dash here so you copy that you paste and there you have this okay and then lastly let's say you plotted a bunch with within one entire day and you just want to check for that date so you can do same thing here plot check dash g and then you can do a date so the date would be year first dash month dash the date so i have one here so this will check for the for the date, specific date that you're doing it for but again the the amount of bad plots you have shouldn't be a lot like they should just be very little just like i had one out of 100 plus plots so but you do want to pay attention to that so you are farming and plotting effectively i hope this video helped you guys out thank you for watching happy farming happy plotting and i'll see you on the next one